Hey boys and girls, the Junk Man here coming at you with another detailing related video. And this time, I'm going to give away one of my sweet secrets when it comes to buffing. Now, a lot of times you'll look at a guy's car that has been detailed, and if you look close enough and check out the seams on his paint, you'll notice that they'll be caked with polish. There's a reason why that happens. It's called hack with a buffer, okay? You don't want to be that guy. Because when I check your car out, that's one of the things I look for. Now, I'm going to show you how the junk man avoids doing that. Right now, I'm working on a 2006 uh, Corvette. It's a uh, uh, C6. And the damage in the paint is not too bad. It's actually something that uh, I could show you all how to fix if it was daytime. But right now, it's about 12.30 a.m., you know, the junk out, you know, working at the time I do. Y'all know I'm very nocturnal, creeping at the nighttime. So, uh, I can't show you that right now, but what I am going to show you is my trick to getting or keeping polish out of the seams. Now, I'm going to be using my trusty Flex 3401 VRG. You all have seen this a few times in my video. And I'm also going to be using some HD polish, okay? Polished by High Definition Car Care. Um, some, this is some sweet stuff. You all have seen me use um, Meguiar's Mirror Glaze M205, same as this. You've seen me use Optimum Polish, same as this. They're all three polishes. They all work great. You will notice that I am not a product snob when it comes to good products. I don't care what name is on a product as long as the manufacturer, manufacturer actually manufactures it and it works. If that's the case, you'll find it in my garage, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to polish without putting polish in your seams. Because the junk man hates taping. I never tape a car off. You'll never see me do that. So I'm about to buff an area about yay big. And I'm going to go across this seam and this seam. Those are the two seams that I'm going to work across. So, first, let me put some polish on my pad. And this polish has some really good working time. It, it works really good. Right now, the temperature is 82 degrees. It's nice and humid out here. So, I'm going to mist my pad with a little Gary Dean's Infinite Use Detail Juice. Um, for you folks overseas, they finally... Gary has gotten that stuff over there. So I'm going to spread my polish around in the area that I'm going to work in. And then I want you to watch what I do. Here's my seam right here. I want you to watch what I do. I'm going to do this in real time. Y'all know I don't like editing my videos. I just roll it. If I, you know, pass gas in the video, y'all heard me do it before. So. <laughs> We just let it roll. It's a brother in his garage production. You know, we don't fake the funk. So here I go. Watch where the polisher goes. If you were watching close enough, you noticed that I never took the polisher across the seam. Now, guess what? That's going to keep polish out of the seam, okay? So right now, you should be going, duh, you know, yeah, of course it will because you never went across the seam. The reason I have not went across the seam yet is because I was waking, waiting for the polish to break down. 
once the polish breaks down enough and gets loosened enough, at that point, I can now cross the seam without getting polish in the seam. So I'm going to bring you in close right now and let you take a look at the seam so that you can see that there is no polish in the seam. All right, all right. Got my main man Winston working the vids. He all feeling proud about himself. Check him out. All right, so now at this point, I am ready to cross those seams and polish because you can't just stop right where I've stopped. So here I go. Brother in his garage productions go fake the funk. So instead of wiping it off and showing y'all what it looks like, no, nah, brother gonna bring you in right now. Take a look at it without me wiping the polish off. Check them seams out. Them seams is as clean as the board of health. Okay? That's how you do it. That's how brother in his garage production roll. And hold on, brother got it on his towel. <laughs> And y'all know that I only use the Eagle Edgeless towels to remove polish. Of course, y'all know that I got this from theragcompany.com. It's the only ones I like using. Those along with the Zano Borderless Blondes. So I'm going to wipe this off. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. And now... Oh yeah. Now y'all noticed that I was down here when I was looking at the paint like this. And I was way down there like that. What I was looking for to see if the paint was or see if the polish was flashing. So I had to get down at eye level and I'm looking at the reflection of the lights in the ceiling to make sure that the polish is flashing before I stop. And right now, boy, I'm gonna have to do another video in the daytime that y'all see what this paint looks like and what I made it look like. So uh Bring them on back in here one more time. We still have to check them seams out. Go nice and slow, nice and slow for them, so they can see. The junk man don't faint the funk. Brother in his garage productions is keeping it real. That's why we like our we like our seams clean. All right. 
So uh, this right here is going to be one of my short and quick uploads. Uh, Y'all know I don't usually make them this short, so this is just a treat for you all. A handy little tip. It really comes in handy, all right? How to keep your seams clean of polish and wax. The same rule goes for wax. If you don't push product into them, there won't be any product there. And of course, once you get that stuff on the rubber trim, it's murder to get out. So get that stuff out of there as quick as possible if you mess around and do that. All right? So that concludes another Junkman video. This is the Junkman, shining out.